bite-sized candy history with Darlene Lacey. Today we're going to flash back to the psychedelic 1960s, a time in which everyone broke the rules, including the candy industry. In this episode of Bite Size Candy History, we bring you the groovy story of Hippie Sippy, the candy that was so far out, it got banned. Considering the outcry over candy cigarettes, it seemed ill-advised for the R.L. Albert Company of New York City to import Hippie Sippy candy from Japan in 1968. Hippie Sippy was a syringe-shaped container filled with small chocolate balls that were to be sipped through a plastic straw. The candy also came with groovy metal pins with slogans such as, I'll try anything, we sell happiness, and, sock it to me baby. Outraged parents and government officials claimed that the candy promoted drug use. A salesman for the R.L. Albert Company defended Hippie Sippy as just another innocent novelty item, stating, What we have here is a plastic bottle with chocolate inside. I don't see how hippies can be taken to task for that. I would say the only hang-up must be in the minds of the people complaining. Soon, Hippie Sippy was removed from store shelves and banned by the FDA. But it wasn't due to its perceived promotion of narcotics. The real reason Hippie Sippy was banned was the potential health hazard of the small candy-coated chocolate balls being inhaled into the lungs, causing a severe health risk. It would appear that I'll try anything is advice not to be taken lightly. Hungry for more candy? Subscribe to the Candy Wrapper Museum on YouTube and follow us on Instagram or Facebook.